Welcome to the Token Show. I am here today with Joe Tu. He is the head of global of BD Lead at PointX. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, welcome to Vietnam, by the way. Thank you so much. I really enjoy coming to Vietnam. I came here quite often because it's a very good market for us. And I love the vibe here as well, especially Saigon. You know, there's a lot of uh, like, you know uh, in, yeah, <laughs> enthusiastic people, you know, people here like uh, very friendly and you know, the food here is amazing, lovely here. So yeah, we're in the middle of GM Vietnam mm -hmm. 2024. Yeah. So uh, what are you expecting for this GM Vietnam this time? Yeah, I see like this year, the GM events are much bigger than last year. Mm -hmm. And I see there's more people coming up as well and the more people, more sponsors as well and a lot of uh, more side, side events coming up. So I can see the success from last year. That's why this year we can be bigger, like a larger Excel scale and more people to coming up. So today we're gonna have like a topic mm -hmm. to discuss, right? Yeah. It's gonna be about uh, our, the Vietnam market. Mm -hmm. So before that, uh, I really want, uh, like you're from CoinX, so mm -hmm. I really want you to walk us through CoinX first. Yeah. yeah. Oh, thank you. So CoinX, uh, we, we actually uh, started from a mining pool uh, from YBTC back in 2016. Uh, our mining pool is the uh, world's biggest one. And then the seven, uh, 2017, uh, CoinX will be funded. And uh, later then we are building up our ecosystem. Uh, we have our own wallet, we have our own like uh, uh, smart chain as well. And we build up our one swap. Uh, and now we have our own VC team as well. So CoinX, we've been like uh, uh, in the market for like uh, over uh, seven years. And now we have uh, supporting like uh, uh, globally over like 130 countries. And also we supporting different language. I have a local team here as well. And uh, Vienna especially, we have a big team here. Okay. And because we see Vienna as a very potential market mm -hmm. and the people here very uh, like, uh, uh, like to, to understand more about blockchain and crypto. So that's why I'm here and uh, trying to see more and uh, talking with different partners, see what we can do together to help in Vienna and to build a more like a friendly ecosystem here. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. So um, three reasons yeah. to choose CoinX. Yeah, sure. I can, I, I can definitely give like more than three reasons, but if you want me to choose three reasons. For, <laughs> the best three. The, yeah, yeah, best three, of course. First thing is user friendly. Uh, our interface is very easy for users to understand. There's no like a very difficult things to understand. Everything is in guidance. We have our own help center. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have a lot of articles mm -hmm. uh, like uh, teaching users how to actually uh, using CoinX and also some like uh, uh, knowledge about like sharing blockchain and the crypto for users to making research for they can understand more before they making investment. Very and important. Secondly, we are very secure. And uh, the security is one of our key points mm -hmm. for most of the users because uh, uh, honestly, a lot of people, when they mention about Web3 and the crypto, they think kind of about scamming and you know losing money. And, but CoinEx, we are 100% sure for users' uh, assets. And uh, there's uh, quite little like uh, scamming things happen in, in, in CoinEx and we never have any scandal on that. That's because of we are very caring about users' uh, assets and we have our own security team and also compliance team to helping users to uh, ensure the asset in a safe place. And uh, last but not least, I think uh, uh, our platform uh, has a very big advantage of like a uh, local. We having our local team here to mm -hmm. supporting people. We understand the local culture. We are trying to emerge into the local. Adaption. Adaption, yes, I mean. thank you. So, so people can reach out to us in a more like uh, easier way for them mm -hmm. to understand about the, the whole situation here. Yeah. I think that's, mm -hmm. they're all important. Yeah, yeah. very important. Yeah. yeah, I definitely can listing more, but like uh, since you give me three reasons, so mm -hmm. I could, I'm gonna stop here. For this. I mean, yeah. I personally am also a user, so mm -hmm. that's all things that yeah. all I care. Yeah. yeah just security, yeah. have to be user friendly, yeah. all the UI, UX, the design have yeah. to be friendly for me, easy for me. Yeah. And then uh, the last thing is that, you know, adaptions. Yeah, of yeah. course. That's the most important thing because uh, because the user, we have different cultures, different mm -hmm. countries. So we have to using different strategies for different like, uh, cultures and uh, countries as well. So that's why uh, we need to come to the market ourselves to see what people want, what I people see. need. Then we can like, uh, like meet their demands. A little bit of cultural aspects would yeah. help a lot. Yeah. yeah. But look, I'm Asia, kind of a similar. <laughs> yeah. So uh, let's talk about the scenario here, the, the situation here in mm -hmm. Vietnam, mm -hmm. the Vietnam market. Mm -hmm. So what are your thoughts on the Vietnamese market at the moment? Yeah, for now, like uh, uh, the, two days ago, uh, I just finished a meeting with VBA the, uh, meetup mm -hmm. about talking about legal framework in Vietnam. So I see very potential oh. in the future because uh, Vienna is on the same track, mm -hmm. uh, following the guidance and give a user a more safe places. 
uh, following the guidance from the government and also the uh, legal framework. I think that's a very good signal for the market mm -hmm. because uh, once there's a regulation, people's assets can be more secured. Mm -hmm. and they have directions. Yeah, have directions. And for us as an exchange, we have a, a following a guidance for that. So we know what we exactly what we want to do mm -hmm. to helping the users while mm -hmm. following the rule by government. So everything in a safe way. I think it's, uh, in the future, Vietnam definitely going to be uh, a more uh, crypto friendly country. Mm -hmm. uh, does that mean that uh, if we got, do you mean that if we have like a more clear regulations, yeah. um, we're going to have, you know, a better chance mm -hmm. in improving our ecosystem as well, our yeah, market? Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. And how is uh, Vietnamese market compared mm -hmm. to the global stage mm -hmm. at the moment for you? Well, as far as I see, like uh, uh, in Vietnam, you guys have a VBA, uh, Vietnam Blockchain Association here, yes. to supporting with the government. But for the other countries, it's quite hard to find the, the similar situation, mm -hmm. uh, like in Latin, Latin. So basically, uh, in Latin, crypto is quite free, but in the legal wise, uh, they are still in the early stage. Mm -hmm. So I see, uh, that's why I see Vienna as a more, poten most, uh, more potential market. And also user here, they, they love to know the new things. They love to understand about blockchain. Mm -hmm. So I see like Vietnamese people, they really like into new things and uh, try to uh, accepting the, 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 the blockchain and the crypto. So I see there's a very good advantage in Vietnam market here. Mm -hmm. I, I'm actually surprised with the mm -hmm. amount of people today. You know? yeah. It's getting so crowded right yeah. now. And I can't believe it, like blockchain is getting so popular these days. Yeah. Do you think that as uh, uh, like for Coinex, you guys are like expanding, you, you already expand mm -hmm. to Vietnam, right? Mm -hmm. So how, how do you evaluate our user openness? Mm -hmm. So for us, like we kind of open for any users. And I'm quite surprised too as well, because last year I was, we, I was here as well. So last year is already like excellent, mm -hmm. but this year I didn't expect it to be that more except, uh, excellent because you guys already like increase in scale, like uh, the, uh, the whole venue, you expanding the venue and also mm -hmm. you expanding more sponsorship here. Mm -hmm. uh, I see a lot of the users, especially I know, I, 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 re I recognize some new users coming here. They don't know nothing about the blockchain, but they are quite like uh, curious about what it is about. So like uh, as CoinEx, uh, we have a duty to like let them know what is blockchain about. Mm -hmm. So for us, we have a strategy here in Vienna as well to try to educating people for them to understand more about blockchain, about the crypto, about the whole ecosystem of how, how it goes, goes to be. And for them, for those who are interested into the investment, so they can have a research first before they get into the industry in, in case they can get a good strategy on that. Yeah. With the progress like this, mm -hmm. so uh, how do you imagine five to ten more years mm -hmm. of Vietnam blockchain scenes? Well, it's any very, expectation? <laughs> well, I mean, it's very hard to say, but mm -hmm. uh, from my perspective, mm -hmm. uh, I will see like uh, Vietnam uh, in, in the right track. Uh, like I said before, like uh, you, are, you have a VBA as a support, and also uh, you guys have uh, a lot of more like projects, new projects coming up, and more like exchanges trying to get into this market and the people are getting more like enthusiastic into this industry. So I will see in the next five to 10 years, definitely crypto gonna be more like into people's eyes and people gonna understand more about blockchain and the crypto. So on the, on the street, people can like, you can see people like talking about crypto more in the future. And yeah. even that right now, people, they still said it's, it is like the early stage mm -hmm. for crypto and blockchain. Yeah. And it's already gotten like this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so uh, hopefully in the future, uh, everything's gonna be more and more improved. Yeah. Um, how about blockchain? I mean, crypto is something that I mean we ha we rank third mm -hmm. for crypto games, mm -hmm. but it's a crypto story. But for blockchain side, mm -hmm. it's it's another story. Yeah. For uh, people to get like more builders, mm -hmm. for for us to get more builders mm -hmm. and like infrastructure, it's uh, but but we do have like some good uh, projects. For example, Kuiper ne uh, mm -hmm. Network mm -hmm. or uh, X. AC Infinity, mm -hmm. yeah. So, how do you think? How do you how do you see the difference between Vietnam blockchain projects mm -hmm. to the global one? Well, what I want to say is that projects in Vienna is more like uh, uh, active compared mm -hmm. to other countries because there's a lot of a builder uh, like a builder campaign here mm -hmm. in Vienna. Uh, for me, I attended a lot of builder campaign already, like a Sui building campaign, like from last year, and a lot of people from different countries coming to Vienna and try to build in a camp, uh, like a project together. Mm -hmm. And I see people are very, uh, a lot of uh, investors coming here as well to see our VC team come here as well, by the way, uh, from via VDC group. Mm -hmm. So that's why we see the potential of the projects uh, growing mm -hmm. in Vietnam. And uh, so that's why I, I think uh, this is could be very good 
like a place to grow like projects like uh, from to, from Vietnam to worldwide. So you will mention a VC group, right? Yeah. Uh, any criteria or narratives that you guys are focusing on to so that builders they might uh, know about it? Well, of course, the first thing is their background and also their uh, investors' uh, background and mm -hmm. also their their team as well. We need to, we we, we concerns about their like uh, security. That's the most important thing. Mm -hmm. So make sure this uh, project's potential and uh, it's uh, investable so our user can like uh, helping them to grow up uh, the project together yeah just uh, a quick uh, saying about the security mm -hmm. security is something that you take it very important right yeah. so uh, there's like a trilemma in blockchain right mm -hmm. so like security scalability mm -hmm. and then we have uh, decentralized mm -hmm. so we have to sacrifice one of them yeah. Normally. Yeah. So that's why uh, that's one of our advantages as well, which I didn't mention earlier. So for CoinEx, we didn't do it too aggressively. We we want to make a more stable development. Mm -hmm. So we, you try to keep the balance. Yeah, we, we we try to keep the balance, and also we don't want to lose like a, a users like mm -hmm. a trust mm -hmm. because we want to provide a more secure platform for them to to uh, to invest uh, while they don't like uh, getting scammed or any like uh, uh, I wouldn't say shit token, but those tokens is quite you know. Uh, not stable. Uh, they're gonna disappear in the meantime, which uh, user gonna be very, you know, for them, for those who are losing a lot of money, it's not fair for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, since you are here, uh, you, you're the experts of this interview. So uh, mm -hmm. just really, I wanna ask, you, I wanna give you a scenario. Yep. Yeah. For investor, we have mm -hmm. so many investor, the new mm -hmm. one, the old ones, mm -hmm. but especially for the newcomers, mm -hmm. they don't know anything. Yeah. But they are exciting about the news, mm -hmm. exciting about the mm -hmm. information. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's say if uh, for like a, a newbie, mm -hmm. but he has a saving of a mm -hmm. hundred million dong mm -hmm. for like uh, four thousand uh, US. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, how would you give them some advice? Mm -hmm. Maybe three. <laughs> yeah. For newcomers, the first thing is try not to be too rush. Uh, make your research first because uh, <coughs> since this is new thing to them, they don't understand about the scenario. They don't understand about, about what's the backstory of the, the project. They need to do their project first. So that's why uh, CoinEx uh, this year we are trying to building up our own like uh, uh, tutorial campaign. Uh, we great. have our like uh, uh, training courses uh, for you guys. Like educational on, courses, yeah. like so, on CoinEx. Yeah, on CoinEx, uh, training courses. So try to letting users understand about what training is about, mm -hmm. uh, what what the blockchain is about, what the crypto is about, what investment is about, how you can trading on CoinEx. Before you un to truly understand what it is, then you can go into investment. The second thing is don't blindly follow people's you know move. Try not to blindly follow people, especially for those who don't understand about the crypto. So like you mentioned, like let's say he has like 4K of, the, of his saving. So I will say try not to put in most of the, the saving into the crypto investment. I would say like putting 10 to 30 percent uh, just to 30? try. Yeah. 10, 10 to 30? Yeah, yeah, 10 to 30 percent. Mm -hmm. in, like in, in for the investment? Yeah, for the investment. Okay. Because one thing, you're making a bit of try. The second thing, you didn't put in all of money in. Mm -hmm. So even though you're losing money, you don't you lose all. You still have of, something. Yeah. But at least you can learn something from the, the, the from this kind of investment. Because no one can sure you can learn money or losing money. That's uh, unpredictable. Mm -hmm. uh, even though like for those like big investors, they can still losing money. So I would say like play in a safe way until you actually understand that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, first of all, you don't have. So uh, you have don't be rushed, right? Mm -hmm. Which means you don't invest first. You have to do research? Yeah, of course. You need to research before you do invest. That's I think, uh, I think it's the same to the crypto, to the tra traditional mm -hmm. finance world. For stock market, you need to, to, to understand what the country is, uh, what the company is about, what's the company's background, who's the CEO, what's the background of the CEO, so you understand how the stability of this company is about. So, you know, if it's worth for you to invest. Uh, we were mentioning about users. Mm -hmm. So uh, one more thing about uh, users at CoinEx. Mm -hmm. How did you? How do you guys uh, improve the experience for them? All what right. technologies? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, currently we we having like our customer support mm -hmm. for localized for helping them to uh, to to answering all the questions, and now we have our own uh, help center to helping them to understand about the the, the exchange, uh, spot, future, and every knowledge. Mm -hmm. And also we are developing our product as well to enhance the user experiences. Uh, for example, recently we are uh, developing our P2P 
merchants. So for users, it's easier to unramping on our platform. And second thing, we are doing copy trading as well. Mm -hmm. So you know, for those newbies, so there's someone they can guide them for the trading for the next step. And thirdly, we are doing the demo trading. So demo trading, which is uh, like people, they don't need to use their real money. We can give them like a fake money to try out, mm -hmm. like uh, see how, how like the crypto works. Yeah, try out how it works and uh, for you to understand more because you can never learn before you actually practice, but you don't want to practice with your own money. So that's why we're using this one for, for user mm -hmm. to, to getting more like a better experience of uh, the crypto and exchanging uh, in CoinEx. So it's easier for them to learn and you know, in the future they can invest in yeah. I think it's good, especially for uh, maybe people yeah, like me. Newbies, like, yeah. yeah, newbies. So like uh, people, they don't know anything. They mm -hmm. have like good digestive information. Mm -hmm. uh, is that everything av available on CoinEx? Well, How can we uh, like uh, actually see it? Oh, this is uh, still on the process, but will be like uh, published very soon. Okay. Uh, so this is like a first publishment for you guys. Uh, it's not published yet. So, okay. Uh, but uh, it will be coming up very soon in the next few months. Yeah. Well, we appreciated that yeah. information. So That's it will be like announced a... on our Twitter account. So please follow up our Twitter account, Vienna, so you guys can see all the <laughs> updates or Coinex. Yeah. We'll tag you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Well, thank you for that information. Mm -hmm. uh, any other upcoming plans for you? Uh, the upcoming event, uh, you mean in Vietnam or globally? Uh, Vietnam first. Oh, Vietnam first. So for Vietnam, after GM, for now we don't have a more like an event coming up. Mm -hmm. Maybe like in the uh, next half of the year, there's a event held by VBA. We'll join that as well. So we are honored to, to be, become their strategy partner. So every of their event will be supporting for, by us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How about uh, globally? Any? So globally, like I mentioned, I'm going to Brazil next week, mm -hmm. uh, next month. I mean, uh, for the Rio event uh, in Rio. So uh, I'll be attending the event there. We are, we are sponsoring there as well. We have a booth. Uh, the next is the uh, Turkey, Istanbul. There's a blockchain week. I'm wow. going to attending the, the as well. And a lot the of next, countries. yeah. And also Token 2049 uh, in Singapore definitely will will join that. I think that's the biggest event already. I think GM gonna be next to Token 2049 in the future. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully. Yeah. We're, we're expecting a lot. Yeah. I mean, the, the trend is coming now, yeah. right? So, uh, one more question. Mm -hmm. In Vietnam, there's a there's a term. Mm -hmm. They call it uh, financial freedom. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not a new term, right? Yeah. But then, it's, uh, it's very popular after the pandemic. People, mm -hmm. they start to, you know, find passive incomes, mm -hmm. trying to find, you know, uh, trying to look into investment. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what are your thoughts on that? Well, how do you think, it, what do you think it's financial freedom for you? Well, I mean, this has been defined by a lot of people, but for me, financial freedom is like, it's not means that you don't need to work, then you can live in for like, mm -hmm. like a, a work for life. Financial freedom to me is like, you can do everything you like, like a freely, and no matter what happens, you can still having your own saving and uh, to do the things you're interested in. For me, like blockchain and the crypto, definitely my interesting. It, it it means freedom for me as well. You know, I can traveling around, you know, to meet different people. Uh, financially, you don't need to worry about anything. That's the thing like I care about. Uh, it doesn't mean like you, you can quitting your job and just like living in a home, you know. That's not like freedom for me, yeah. I think it's very from people, right? Yeah, yeah. But then uh, to have the money, but then to get to work mm -hmm. however you want, yeah. however you like. Yeah, true. It's, it's, a, it's a pleasure. Uh, uh, yeah, it's a pleasure. I mean, plus. you need to find the meaning of your life, isn't it? You are not like staying there, lying on bed for a whole day. Like, so that's not freedom. Exactly. I mean, that's a cage for me. I, I, like, I still like to go out and meeting mm -hmm. people, like doing whatever I like. That's the freedom for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, Joe, thank you so much for coming today. It's been a great talk with you. Yeah, thank you. It's my honor to join this interview. Happy to talking with you, too. Happy to talk to you. So, you. I'll see you in the next GM. Yeah, sure. Definitely, I'll come. Yeah. See you guys at the next episode of The Token Show. Thank you. See you. Bye.